the, the gap that we face is £29 million. Pound. We've got to reduce by £29 million. Pound. We're £20 million pound short of meeting the demands that we anticipate next year. Despite you know, the difficult financial circumstances that we find ourselves in, we're actually managing to put more money next year into adult social care and more money into children's services. The issue though is that it's not enough. Over 70% of what the council spends now is spent on care packages to elderly people and to uh, children who are in need, um, looked after children. So as that becomes a larger proportion of the council's budget, it means there's less and less left for those universal services that everybody so desperately needs, refuse collection, leisure services, public health, trading standards, uh, grass cutting, ground maintenance, pothole repairs, all the various services which are about our quality of life for all of us because we have to concentrate the vast majority of our resources into those care packages for the elderly and young people. The way in which the cuts have been applied across the country by government, it's areas like Gateshead who have had to take the highest levels of cut. Public services generally have seen, other than education and health, have seen a reduction of about 25%. Right, you know, 25% reduction in our public services across the country. Local government has taken more than its fair share, on average about 40%. In Gateshead, the reduction has been 52%. Areas with the greatest social need, areas with the greatest social deprivation, social deprivation, have taken the greatest level of reduction. And all those areas which have been most affluent, who have less social and economic problems, in some cases have hardly had to take any cuts at all. Now that's not fair. I, I understand the frustration. I mean, I'm a, I live in Gateshead. You know, I live, I'm a recipient of the services as well as being leader of the council. And understands people's frustration. I pay council tax like everybody else. And, I, and I'm disappointed that Gateshead isn't like it was eight years ago. The grass cutting, ground maintenance, refuse collection, potholes, all the things, all those services have been reduced. But it, because of financial necessity and the growing need that we have in adult social care and children's services, it means they've had to take money from those services to put into priority services. Austerity isn't over, the next three years are going to be uh, even worse than what we've faced thus far. And at the same time out there, in terms of welfare reform, there's about 70% of the cuts in welfare haven't actually been implemented yet. So if the government say that austerity is over, I'm sorry, that's just not true. There is there is a twenty nine million pound gap. You know, we the, 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 the pound notes won't stretch to provide the services that we currently provide. So people are gonna to have to help us make those decisions. They're difficult, they're hard, people are gonna to have to, you know, sort of reflect and give us what their priorities will be because we've got to make decisions of how of how we're going to deal with a shortage of twenty nine million pound next year.